What's up, y'all? I ordered this 7900 about a, uh, about a few weeks ago. It, but it was on pre-order. I had it for like a few days, maybe like a week. It finally came in. And so, if you watch any of my other videos, I had the 4900. I was going to put those on the 305s. But I've been hearing about more people putting these on the 305s. People even put these on the 2700 series. 27, I mean, yeah. So, I was like, damn, I bought them on that. So, I want the 7900 because I thought it might be a better match. So, I even asked people online, do I think I got the 4900? Do you think the 7900 be better? They were like, yes, it'll be better. And you, and, and they, they love that, that, that amp. So, I like okay, so I ordered the amp. So I got this one, seven nine hundred, and the four nine hundred. So you probably like, what you go do with the four nine hundred? I'm gonna find some use for it. It is, I'm gonna, it's gonna be used one way or the other. But uh, but yeah, I'm definitely loving these dual inputs. That's nice. Cooling fans there. Death Bunch Apocalypse 7900.1 and it definitely looks the same as all the other Brazilian amps. Just close all the controls there and just bigger and more power. Yeah, it's a lot heavier than I thought it was, you know. I thought it was going to be lighter than this. And uh, definitely feels like a quality built amp. Definitely not cheap built. And another thing I want to know. If anybody out there know. What's the difference between these and the old Death Bunch Brazilian amps? And the old ones seem like they're more expensive. So what's, why is that? I mean, it's... I think they, to my knowledge, I say they made them cheaper and and they're better, if I'm not mistaken. Or was the old ones more expensive and better? So what's what's the difference? Did they find a different supplier, and and uh and do it that way? I don't and and are they trying to be more competitive? with uh, other Brazilian amps and, and that's the reason for that did the quality go down did the quality go up do if anybody know please comment and let me know what what's the what's the deal with that the um what's the difference between these and other ones could I, I think the the old one was a wasn't a 7900 I think it was a 7800 and uh there's a video on, on here on YouTube. It's the guy had a 70, I think it was a 7800 or 7900. And he had them both open in the bottom. And they looked very similar, like the same amp, but the internals was a bit different. But of course, of course, he was talking in Russian. I understand the thing he said. So, if anybody knows, please comment down below. And let me know what's the deal with that. I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, if you look at a lot of my old videos, it you know it, it'll be my four or five months, and I'm still haven't got this stuff installed. But eventually, it is. I'm a I'm a real busy person, and I have a lot of expenses. A lot of I got a lot of things going on. So I just ordering stuff, a lot of this stuff just piling up. You know, I started off with with some mid-bass speakers with, well, so whoopers. I can't remember what I ordered first, but now I got like a a mountain of Def Bunch stuff. I got subs and I got I know, about two or about three or four amps now and bought some more mid-bass speakers and just piling up a lot of stuff here and I still have yet to uh, get 
wiring and stuff like that stuff to, to power this stuff and I sure enough I don't want to install this stuff without having the proper proper electrical to, to feed it you know you start burning stuff up I'm definitely gonna need a new alternator uh, maybe two and uh some batteries and stuff like that so I definitely got to do that I'm not I'm not gonna install this if I don't have the proper electrical I'm, I'm just I'm not gonna do it and uh when I get that electrical in there you know then I will move forward with installing the, the equipment but yes I'm glad y'all guys are been patient with me eventually this is the system is going to be installed it's not a huge system it's not I don't have I got the 305s I don't have the the new R series sub that just been, been released I see some videos you, uh, some people have them and they look like they get pretty loud eventually I'm gonna get there but I'm gonna check out the 305s first and people say they do pretty good so they say they're definitely capable of moving a lot of air and if they can take <laughs> you know this this 7900 you know I know that 2000 RMS so they're probably conservatively rated that thing if they can take uh, 3000 watts with no problem all day that's, that says a lot you know and that, that, that definitely says a lot so I'm not gonna make this video too long. You know, just wanna just show y'all this. And um, I like it. You know, I have yet to hear it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's dang on powerful. And yeah, I appreciate y'all stopping by and I appreciate my few 11, 12 subscribers that I have. Hopefully it'll go up. If you're first time watching the video, like, comment, subscribe if you like, and I greatly appreciate it. And Hopefully soon I had this stuff installed and y'all can see and hear the final product and you know if we can only upgrade and get better from now, you know, then I'll be officially into the car audio industry like y'all like you guys do. Y'all you guys do build after build after build after build, you know, just constantly upgrading, just doing different things when it comes to this car audio. I know y'all see that stuff over there. It's kind of messy over there. I got death mud boxes everywhere, man. Um, uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.